The MQ-4C Triton test team conducted the first flight to assess the unmanned aircraft system's ability to fly with wing ice accumulation January 25 at Patuxent River. This was the first of approximately 15 flights planned through spring 2023 that would clear Triton to fly in icing conditions. Triton's ability to fly in icing conditions is a top priority for the fleet, said Captain Josh Gare, MQ-4C Triton program manager. The greater ability we have to fly in harsh weather conditions, the more capability we can provide to the fleet. In late 2022, the Integrated Test Team ITT, installed 3D printed nylon ice shaped blocks designed to simulate ice accumulation on the wings and V-tail if the aircraft were to fly through moderate icing. The orange colored ice shapes are coated with a coarse grit that makes them textured and rough like ice accumulating inside a freezer, said Amanda Marge, MQ-4C Triton lead test engineer. The objective is to verify that there's sufficient stability and control in order to remove the restrictions in the flight clearance for flying in icing conditions, which could significantly increase the fleet's sortie rate, he said. During the initial flight, the team executed basic flying qualities maneuvers such as control surface pulses, side slips, and sustained turns at 20,000 feet. The team will analyze data from the flight to confirm that the aircraft responds as predicted to inputs and that the team can safely proceed with further testing. As flights continue, the average planned duration for ice shape testing will increase to approximately five hours. The Triton will fly with this simulated ice accumulation on the wings throughout the points in the operational envelope to determine the impact on aircraft flying qualities and performance. The testing will enable the MQ-4C to transit through moderate icing later this year. This timeline will support the deployment of the latest MQ-4C multi-intelligence variant, Gare said. The MQ-4C Triton is a long-endurance, high-altitude UAS that provides up to 24 hours of flight time. It is conducting overseas intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR missions. The Navy conducted its first test flight of the MQ-4C Triton in its upgraded hardware and software configuration July 29 at NAS Patuxent River, beginning the next phase of the unmanned aircraft's development. The MQ-4C Triton flew in its new configuration, known as Integrated Functional Capability, IFC-4, which will bring an enhanced multi-mission sensor capability as part of the Navy's maritime intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and targeting MISR &T, transition plan. Triton's integrated test team, ITT, comprised of the U.S. Navy, Australian cooperative partners, and government-slash-industry teams completed a functional check flight and initial aeromechanical test points, demonstrating stability and control of the MQ-4C after a 30-month modification period. Today's flight is a significant milestone for the program and a testament to the resolve of the entire ITT, their hard work, and passion for test execution and program success, said Captain Dan Mackin, Persistent Maritime Unmanned Aircraft Systems Program Manager. This flight proves that the program is making significant progress toward Triton's advanced multi-intelligence upgrade, and it brings us closer to achieving the initial operational capability, IOC, milestone. Multiple Triton assets have been modified into the IFC-4 configuration in support of IOC in 2023. A single test asset is in the current IFC-3 configuration to support the sustainment of deployed systems as well as risk reduction for IFC-4. Currently, two MQ-4C Triton aircraft in the baseline configuration known as IFC-3 are forward deployed to 7th Fleet in support of Early Operational Capability EOC, and Commander Task Force CTF-72 tasking.
VUP-19 will operate Triton to further develop the concept of operations and fleet learning associated with operating a high-altitude, long-endurance system in the maritime domain. The MQ-4C Triton has already had a tremendous positive impact on operations in USI and DOPACOM and will continue to provide unprecedented maritime intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities, which are especially critical to national interests with the increased focus in the Pacific," Mackin said. Triton is the first high-altitude, long-endurance aircraft that can conduct persistent intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, missions to complement the P-8 in the maritime domain. The Navy plans to deploy Triton to five orbits worldwide. Today's flight is a significant milestone for the program and a testament to the resolve of the entire ITT, their hard work and passion for test execution and program success, said Captain Dan Mackin, Persistent Maritime Unmanned Aircraft Systems Program Manager. This flight proves that the program is making significant progress toward Triton's advanced multi-intelligence upgrade and it brings us closer to achieving the initial operational capability IOC, milestone. Multiple Triton assets have been modified into the IFC-4 configuration in support of IOC in 2023. A single test asset is in the current IFC-3 configuration to support the sustainment of deployed systems as well as risk reduction for IFC-4. Currently, two MQ-4C Triton aircraft in the baseline configuration known as IFC-3 are forward deployed to 7th Fleet in support of Early Operational Capability EOC, and Commander Task Force CTF-72 tasking. VUP-19 will operate Triton to further develop the concept of operations and fleet learning associated with operating a high-altitude, long-endurance system in the maritime domain. The MQ-4C Triton has already had a tremendous positive impact on operations in USI and DOPACOM and will continue to provide unprecedented maritime intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities, which are especially critical to national interests with the increased focus in the Pacific," Mackin said.